Hello and welcome, this is Melskinner, and we're back with some more A Ghost of a Tale. So, I'm just going to explore one more thing on the shoreline here. It's possible there are more urns here, and I just don't know where they are, but I think we would be better off just, you know, trying to go somewhere where I may have an idea of where they are. I don't know if all of them would be in the spot that I'm thinking of, but it at least is something to check. Now, I don't know how thoroughly I check these caves in here. I'm going to look around a little bit in here. Okay, that was probably a bad idea. Okay, I think I just glitched the game out. All right. <laughs> Looks like we managed to get out. <laughs> I was a little bit worried there. I, I kind of thought that maybe that was a bad idea while I was doing it. Um, but yeah, there was a little crawl space there that I tried to crawl up in and... Didn't quite... The game doesn't like you when you do things like that. And then this should just come back out. So I think we, we search this cave area. I don't think there's really anything in here. There might have been gold nuggets that I already picked up. But we're not going to find anything more than that. Alright, uh, I'm going to go to the catacombs now. Now, I know that there's a, a, a shortcut from the harbor to get to the catacombs, so I'm going to take that because I think it's a little bit closer. I'm going to take a look at this ledge for a second in case there was something up with that. It seemed like there was. Okay, let's go to the harbor and then take that route to get to the catacombs. On the wrong way. This way. Fortunately, we do have to take quite a winding path to get where I need to go. The uh, the harbor, the design of this map is kind of annoying. Because <laughs> you have a lot of uh, this like kind of zigzag path. If you go up the, from this direction, you have this long zigzag path to get there. I am going to take the, the other route rather than go all the way down to where the elevator is because I can take this route without having to worry about guards. At least I think I can from what I remember. So this should just be a path that we continue to follow this way. And this is going to go into the catacombs. I forget what part of the catacombs this goes into. But it will eventually take us there. Okay, so now that we're in the catacombs, I'm going to try and do a better job of really thoroughly searching this area. So, first off, what's over this way? Okay, so this is an area that I am not really sure. Go ahead and get this out. Not really sure what, you know, what you do over here. I mean, you see a ledge over there, but there's no way in hell I'm going to make that jump. Not from there to there. And then even if I did make that jump, where would you go from there? Jump... Where else? Not really sure. I mean, we could try it, but I need to get some kind of save before I did that so we didn't have to backtrap so far. So that's one idea. As we try and do that, as it does seem like there is... A course you can take. Now there's also this path. Some littered bones. I don't see any urns here. Some cracked pottery. Now I might have already picked up urns from some of these areas too, so that's another thing. Okay, so this is like the main crossroad here. Now, the one area that I'm thinking of is the area through here. We never did take care of these gallworms, and it's possible there are urns in there, and I just, like, sidestep them out of, you know, not really knowing. So, we'll just go ahead and blow these last two up. I didn't have that many of these uh, explosives at the time that I did that. There should be another one. Uh, I'll put it away for now. So, I blew that up. Let's be a little bit more thorough now. Ooh. 
may have almost lit myself on fire there. Now, to be totally honest with you, I'm not sure I'm going to find anything, but, you know, it's it's something that I, I previously did not explore. Because it seemed like there wasn't a point to it. I'm just going to go ahead and use my stick here. And do that. So I'm not seeing an urn here. I mean... Where else would it be? So, we're going to keep going here. I think there's another area that we may have had more possibilities. Okay, this looks like it just goes into the main area. Now, we do have this heavy urn. Now, I, I don't know. Some of you may ha have commented uh, that I should be using this urn over on that one weight that's over the other way. But as you can see there, there's a jump. I can't jump with this heavy urn. Like, I have to jump here to get to that area. So, unless there's another way, let's follow the other path here. Maybe I never explored this area. It's possible. Okay, so no, this is just the area that takes you up to the ladder. So I have definitely explored that. Now, according to this, this ledge goes down and then there's a path down, down somewhere or up somewhere. But we already tried coming down here and the game all glitched out on me when I did that. So I don't think that's a path you're supposed to take. I'm not really seeing, there is a, a straight path. I'm not really seeing that one though. Not sure if it's above me or below me. Maybe that's it up there. Well, if that's it, I don't know how you get to it. Maybe from here. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. But I'm not seeing whatever path is on that map. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe you are supposed to pass that urn along. So let's see what we can do with it. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's worth the experimentation. But that's the only way that so far I would had been able to open these, these weighted doors. Is by using these urns. But they're heavy. I can't jump while this, I'm carrying this. And as far as I know, I can't throw it either. I'm pressing the throw button. That doesn't do anything. So I could get to here. And then I'm stuck. You know, I can't jump this. So I couldn't use that to open that, that area. So I, I never tried because I knew I couldn't do it. So. Now it's possible maybe there is an urn that I missed. Like on the other side. But for now... I'm going to continue to... I'm trying to see if there was something up there. I'm going to continue to try and explore here. I mean, there is po a possibility I've missed something subtle. Like a way I can go. Alright, so we'll come back over to the, the crossroad area. All right, so we killed the one Gowarm. That didn't accomplish anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I just have to search these bodies more. Oh, okay, we're a little bit further along. I don't know if I can make that jump up there. It's possible. Um, I might have to step on something, and even then, I'm not sure I would be able to do it. All right, well, we found one, so... Okay, well, that gives me an idea of maybe where I need to search. be able to find those. And again, there's that one area I, I could possibly jump to get where I need to go. We already checked the remains in here. There's nothing else in here. Okay. What about in here? Nothing. What about in here? 
Now, some of these I do remember pretty thoroughly checking. Yeah, I can't make that kind of jump. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to jump up in those higher up places. But we might as well double check some of these areas. Ooh. Okay. Quite possible at this point I wasn't really looking for the urns. So we have a heavy urn there that we could use for something, but I think we already it already did what it was supposed to do. Okay. There's a pine cone in there that I missed from before, so I guess we're be armed now. Not seeing really anything. This area, which I've been over a couple different times, just to make sure we could rearm that if we wanted to. Over there. Don't know how thoroughly I checked in this area, but again, I, I seem to remember really checking these areas just to be sure that there wasn't anything in here. But at the time, I didn't know what those urns were for, so I might not have been as thorough as I could have been. Pull out our laner. Nothing over here. Going to check. Got a little place we can save. Hopefully it doesn't freak out on me. Okay, good. So, uh, we found one of four that we still need so far. I do remember finding stuff here. Originally, finding urns in this area, I believe. We also have this area. Which just goes over to, like, your, your main entrance here. Okay. Oh, well, let's keep searching. Go down this way. So this is the one path, and I think I did do a test jump. If I remember correctly, and there was no way in hell I could make the jump from here to there. It's possible I had something in my hands, though. We have found out that I don't jump as far when I have something in my hands. So let's try the jump now. Yeah, so I don't even come close to making it. Like, that. that isn't even... I mean, maybe close, but I, I definitely didn't grab the ledge or anything. So I always, like, held off on this area because I kind of assumed that there would be a time when I would have some ability to maybe jump further or, or something like that. And then we would use that to progress, but that is a pretty far jump, as you can see there when I take a side view. And I don't really see another way over, so as much as I, I see there's like a corpse over there with a sword, and who knows, there may be an urn there. I don't know how I make that jump. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's an area we can really do anything with. Uh, it does seem like we've got a fairly large room here. The other thing that bothers me is just that other speech bubble. Like, what does that other speech bubble signify? So, I think we've already searched over here pretty well. We did manage to find one urn out of all that searching. And this is kind of where I feel like this quest is kind of a pain in the ass. Like, if you didn't just, you know, happen to randomly find them all before you needed the quest... Now, this is becoming kind of a bit much. Especially as they give you absolutely no hints on where they're going to be. I could ask the ghost about it. Um, see if she'll give me a hint, because it is kind of a frustrating quest. Alright, well, well, we'll try that possibility here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can make that other jump. Who knows? So, what I'm going to try now, actually, yeah, we go this way. No, that's not right. How do I get, uh... Oh, there we go. That's, there we go. 
go this way, then we go down this way. And we're into the area where the map's more smudged. So that's the area that goes to the harbor, I think. I don't want to go there. Here's the jump. The question is I, that I have, can you jump from there to there? That, uh, that probably is a super far jump. It sure looks like it. All right, we'll try. We made it. Okay, so this is an area I've not been in before. The question is, where do we jump from here? It looks like there. Let's go ahead and pull the lantern out just so we can get a little bit of a look around. Okay, well, we've got progress now. That sure looks like the ledge we would jump to, right? There. All right. Oops, I don't know if I timed that right. Game. Game. Oh, no game. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we'll manually manually reload this because uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, so quick save. But that's more promising. We actually have a way that we could go that I didn't I didn't think we could go before. So, oops, on the wrong way again. I kind of misjudged that that jump, but to be totally honest with you, it's it's kind of dark and uh it is hard to see. <laughs> so, I really wish they would give you a save point here. Okay, let's go. It's not too bad of a jump. And I really do think that that's the jump you have to make is there, because I don't see anything else. So, I'm going to look down at my feet. There we go. Or I didn't do that. Okay. Now what do we do? Okay, let's look around. This is 3D platforming at its finest. Jump on that. And, but I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do, but we kind of forced it. Okay, so I uh, found another urn. Looking over here. It looks like we have to make this jump. Which is doable. I don't know how we get back, though. But here we go. Okay. Made it. Now, the problem is we're still one short on, on both of them. Okay, so we are in that one area. There's no way in hell I'm going back. Ugh, I really don't want to miss this jump and have to do all this stuff over again. That would be a pain. Clearly, you're meant to jump here. Hey, okay, here we go. Yeah. That's a hard jump. <laughs> it's possible I didn't time it right, but holy crap. All right. Uh, let's, let's go for it again. The thing that's frustrating about it, though, is there's no way you can go back. Uh, oh, again, I went the wrong way. Jeez. I just don't know the catacombs as well, so maybe I should. Okay. This way. Okay, this jump I'm fairly certain I, I, I you know, it's not that bad. If you time it right. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a cut here, but we know that there's one more urn here, and it's possible the other two are over there. So I'm going to play around with this until we can get it. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Moskiner, signing out.